Right, good afternoon people of YouTube. Um, little tiny job on this streetwise at the minute um, while I'm filling in, um, deciding what I'm going to do um, for the next video. I did put a post up yesterday about the next video, what you guys want it to be. So it's either going to be, there's four options I think there is. So servicing and some bits on the streetwise. Um, welding the battery tray and in, in a wing on the Escort, um, the exhaust on the Metro Turbo, but I am waiting for a brand new Pulsar Turbo to come in the post. Um, so if you wanted that one, that's going to be a little bit longer because I'm wanting to do that. So I'll put the turbo on first before I do the exhaust, but that'll all be on one video. Um, so I've gone for a brand new genuine Pulsar turbo, which it should have had on there. Um, and then we'll do a, a full exhaust, um, probably come out the side again as it is, but just a lot nicer and neater. And I am going to attempt to TIG weld this myself as well. So I'll be learning along the way. And I've only done one TIG weld and exhaust before and that didn't turn out too good. So this is going to be me practicing TIG welding exhaust up in that video as well. And I have got a Mondeo ST Estate um, and it's um, surgeon um, when you come up on boost as such if you know what I mean it's, and it also surges when you're just holding a steady speed as well so it's just really juddery and surging so that'll be a um a diagnosis and repair on that um so yeah that's the four options so go back and have a look at that poll and then obviously click the video that you want to see the most of first um, but in the meantime we're going to do a little bit of work on this um, streetwise. Only a little tiny job, the heater blower fan. Um, so nothing too major. Um, and also, I was looking back at some of the analytics of the videos. Now, I'm nearly up that thousand subscriber mark, um, which I plan to hit by the end of this year. So I'm only like 20 or 25 subscribers. And I had a look and over 85% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So I'm going to stick it out there. Please, can you subscribe and like my videos if you like what you see? If you don't like what, what you see, then obviously don't subscribe and hit the, the thumbs down button, shall we say. Um, but you know, any any criticism on my content, whether it be good or bad. Um, I'd like to make these videos a bit better as well. Um, so again, any criticism on that would be hugely appreciated. Right, so we're going to crack on and get the heater blower motor working on all four speeds. So I'm gonna jump into the vehicle and then go through what it's doing and what you need to do to rectify that issue. Right, so here we go. Just switch the old ignition on. And as you can hear, there's nothing. Turn that down. As you can hear, it's on speed two and nothing's happening. Speed three. Yeah, it works. Speed four. So we've got Gale and Hurricane but stiff breeze and light breeze doesn't work. So zero, nothing, nothing, gale, hurricane. So we're gonna rectify that issue um, by fitting a new heater resistor, which is located in the glove box. So we'll get some tools out and we'll go through what you need to do to remove that and to get the the old resistor out and replace the new resistor. Right, underneath this glove box here, you should see 
two 8mm screws. If I can get to that one. That'll be one. mill screw and the other one should be tucked up under here somewhere I reckon there we go and that was the other one and in just in case of just supporting the glove box opening it and you should be able just to wiggle it out of the way and there we go nice and simple right well, you should be left with this situation um, this is the the speed control fan relay thing so this is the bit we need to replace but also I'm gonna be replacing the pollen filter which is just behind this door and to get to that we need to remove um, this bar here which should be two seven mil bolts so let's get a socket that's okay that can hang there so we've taken it all out and then we just need to undo this little plug here which is just a, a push and a release and then normally you've got some Phillips screws on here, but this one looked like some sort of bolt that looked like a five and a half or a six. So I'll just get them and come back to you. So this one is two six mil screws. As I say, normally they are a um, Phillips head but not on this occasion. So yeah, this is what it is. It's a little um, coil thing. You can see us split there. That's for your number two fan speed. And this one is your number one. And that's completely broken off in there, look. So, let's get the new one unwrapped and I'll show you what that's all about. Right, new one acquired. That's what it is. I've just gone for a standard style one. You can get uprated ones, um, but I've just gone for a standard one purely because I got it next day and that was a tenner. So I got this off Amazon. I had a £10 gift card for Amazon. So that's what I bought. So hopefully we can chuck this in and then I'll get all four of my fan speeds working. Just remember, they are only going into plastic, so don't go too mental with tightening that up. All they need is a little bit of a nip. I'll just plug the, the wiring back in, and we'll give it a test. All right, ignition on, zero. Oh, light breeze. Stiff breeze, gale, and hurricane.
Right, that's a win. Let's get back into the glove box area and replace the pollen filter. Right, nice and simple once you've got this bar out of the way. Just a little tab underneath here, you pull down and then you lever it up and you see where the other end hooks on the top. And it should be just a case of pulling that out and hmm. Yummy! I think I can see why the heat resistor had um, blown. It's just so clogged that's not allowing enough air through, which then you get a big build up of heat in the blower motor area, which is this bit here, and then it just melts the melts the wires. So yeah, that looks fairly clean in there apart from that filter. Right, new filter gone for genuine MG Rover. Got part number in there. There you go. And that should fit all 25 ZRs and uh, street risers as well. So it should be the case of, you need your airflow arrow. Just slot on that in there. Lovely jubbly, hook that tab over the top and then clip that in at the bottom. And that's it, all done. Now I've just got to put the bar back on, um, put the glove box, box back in and that is job done. But also remember, the seven mil bolts go on the bar, eight mil bolts go on the glove box because I have seen people um, put that the wrong way around so you go to do a pollen filter and you end up taking the 7mm bolts out of the, the glove box and the 8mm bolts out of the um, out of the bar right let's um, get all that back together again Right, all back together again now. So we'll just do one final check, just to make think sure things are okay. Light breeze, stiff breeze, gale, hurricane. Feels like I've got a hell of a lot more airflow coming out of these now as well. Now I've changed that pollen filter, which is good. Lovely old job. Right, that'll do it for today. Again, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, that would be absolutely awesome. And if you like what you see, obviously hit that thumbs up button. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. And um, hopefully we can get on and um, get the next job done. So vote for your preference on what you'd like to see next on the channel. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.